This is okay. So today we're back for another tutorial, and today we are learning a mousetrap variation combo. It's insane. It looks a bit like this. Let's get it. Okay, and we're gonna be learning this by the end of the video. You have this down, breaking it into three key sections of this combo. Let's get into it. Step one is gonna be the first mousetrap variation. It's a little bit like this. What we're gonna do with the strong foot, we're gonna do a clamp. If you're struggling with clamps, go up here. What we're gonna do, we're gonna move our foot over the ball from the sole, and then we're gonna go into this clamp here, just like so. Then with our weak foot, this is my strong foot, with my weak foot, my left foot, I'm gonna step behind the ball and next to it. This is a bit of an odd one, so I'll show it from a couple of angles. One step behind and next to. This is the ideal position. So we go one, just so we're next to the ball. If you're left footed, it will look like this. So now we're gonna knock the ball with this part of our foot out wide towards our weak foot. By doing so, we're gonna first release the clamp. So here. And you'll see that at this point, as I release the clamp and I knock the ball out wide, I'm already gonna lift my strong foot and take it around the back of my left foot and stop it. This, we're gonna turn into a mouse trap. So we're just gonna practice this, knocking it out wide, round the back, stop. Then obviously to a mouse trap, you're gonna to wanna to get your range. You're gonna see where you can stop it. Then we're gonna go around the ball and grab it at full extension. The more you practice it, the more fluid you'll get. And you can also change the angles based on this little touch. So you can do it backwards or forwards. Ideally for this combo, we're just gonna do it flat, just like so. That's part one. Now we're gonna feed it into part two. Okay, so this part incorporates a step of which is pretty tricky and can be found in a different tutorial which I've already done. That's in the iCard. So if you find this bit a bit tough, go and check that one out. However, for now, we've just been in the mousetrap position on our right foot. Now we're gonna roll the ball behind us, slow, slowly. And as we do this, we're gonna do a left foot outside step over, just like so. As we're doing this move, we're gonna take the ball with our right foot and we're gonna do a ball roll, just like so, just like this. So the ball's gonna come across, step over, ball roll. Now we're gonna stop it round the back like Henri. This move, just like this, boom. Okay, so this is a right foot roll, left foot touch with this part of our foot round the back of our strong leg. Super confusing, however, you're ballers, so you can do it. Here we go, we're here, boom. So all together, we've just finished the mouse trap. Step over, roll, stop. But this is actually gonna be the next mouse trap. So, this is a mouse trap with a weak foot, warning, weak foot, you gotta get it down, so now it's time to practice it. So what we're gonna do, just to practice the mouse trap on its own, we're gonna roll it forwards, weak foot on the ball around the back. As we do this, we're not gonna just stop it, we're actually gonna roll it the opposite direction, the direction it just came. So back where it goes, then we're gonna touch the floor, and then we're gonna reclaim possession. So we roll it back, touch the floor, grab it. With mouse traps, the key is to always start slow and then get fast. So we're just gonna start like this, extend. The whole time I'm looking over my shoulder so I can see it. If I can't see it, I'm not gonna be able to judge it, I'm not gonna be able to do the fake properly. With a mousetrap as well, it's key to just, you gotta make sure it looks like you miss it. So we're gonna practice this a couple of times and then we're gonna get used to doing it faster and eventually you'll have it pretty clean. So all together, step one and step two, we've just done this mousetrap, boom, step over, roll, touch, back, Boom. So that's step one and two. Two crazy mashups. However, now it's time to add a third. Okay, so this final step, the first step, is pretty tricky, but you lot are advanced now. So I'm going to teach you it anyway. We've just been in this position from the mousetrap. Bow. What we're going to do, we're not going to pull it forwards. We're actually going to turn. What I mean by this, watch my right shoulder. It's going to go backwards. It's going to go clockwise. If you are left foot, it's going to go anti-clockwise. But right now, I'm going to turn. I'm looking at the ball. I'm going to face it. Okay? So that's the turn that we're doing. We've came here. One, turn. So as soon as we touch the ball, we're going to turn. Turn. Now, in this turn, we're here. We're then going to take it with our strong foot from a turn. We've gone here. And we're going to a side stop. We've done this in a combo before, which is actually in the iCard. So if you haven't learned that one, you need to go back and get it down. But from this position, we're turning. We take it with our strong foot on the ball. Keep turning. Side stop it. Bill, come round and show him. Boom, look, we've, we've came from here, we're turning. Side stop it. Now with the side stop, we're gonna pull it forwards. And that's when we're gonna do the mash. So let's just break down the end part. We can practice this just from the side stop. 
as we release the side slot forwards, we're gonna hop forwards, okay? We're gonna hop forwards as we do so, we're gonna turn. If I'm right foot, I turn to my right. If you're left foot, you're gonna turn to your left. So boom, turn to the right. And that is the exact moment. It's like we're doing this skill here. Instead of putting the foot on the ball, we're gonna put our foot around it like a mouse trap. And we turn. If we don't turn, we can't really get the reach. So what we have to do, we have to turn, because when we turn, and now I'm looking over my left shoulder, we can properly extend that leg. So this move all together. We've just came to this position. We've turned, we've gone around, we've let it go, and then we get it. So the next step, if you find it hard, is to take it from a stationary side stop, stationary side stop with a turn, and now we're gonna be turning as we do it. So we're gonna turn, side stop, around, got it. And that is the third and final mousetrap. So all of it together, one, two, and three, gives us this epic combo. Boom, 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 back, boom, turn, around, mousetrap, thing, step over, acker, However you want to finish it, you decide. When you get this down, tag me in it. It's going to be an insane achievement. Everyone that can do this is a certified MVP. Street panel, baller, I don't even care. This is an awesome combo. Get it down, send it to me, tag me in it. I'll share the best of my page. Okay, so that is it for today's tutorial. If you have learned something, please smash that like button. Of course, subscribe for more. It really means a lot, the support that I'm getting. And I'm so glad to see you learning these skills. Hit the bell, there's going to be an insane video soon. Let's get it.